Welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to share with you a few string trimming tips that all the pros know. These tips are going to make you a string trimming ninja. Now these will also make your work faster, easier, safer, and most importantly, we really care about this. You're going to get great looking results. Here we go. All right guys, so let's start with pro tip number one, string trimmer operation. Now even though this sounds super elementary, it is so important and so few people know this stuff. So what you need to do is first determine the rotation of your string trimmer. Is it a clockwise rotating string trimmer as indicated by these arrows right here? Or does your string spin counterclockwise? Now the reason why that's important is it determines how to best operate your string trimmer. So if you own a clockwise spinning string trimmer, you're going to want to stand to the left side of that string trimmer when you operate it. And you're going to also want to cut with the left side of that string trimmer as indicated by this arrow. The reason why is it will eject the debris safely away from you. Now, if your string trimmer happens to spin counterclockwise, you want to do the opposite of what we just talked about. You want to stand and operate the string trimmer from the right side and also cut from the right side. What will happen is the string will spin around, hit that debris, and push it away from you. All right guys, let's move on to pro tip number two, nothing but tip. So to get the best performance out of your string trimmer, you wanna do all your cutting with the end of the string as indicated by the arrow right here. You also wanna make sure your string is fully extended to get that best performance. Now in this example right here, you can see I'm operating the string trimmer properly. I have it far away from the material I'm trying to cut and it's tearing right through it, no problem at all. So here's the wrong way to do things. I'm plunging the string trimmer into the brush. You can see the string is wrapping around the head and it's no longer cutting material. This is awful. This is absolutely no bueno. All right guys, we're moving on to tip number three, using your string trimmer as an edger. So like before, you need to consider what side you stand on depending on your head rotation. Also, you're gonna use the tip of that string to do the cutting here. Make sure your string is fully extended. So you can see you can stand on the grass or the sidewalk, depending on how you're more comfortable. I'm keeping the head at a 90 degree angle there to the sidewalk. That will give you a nice clean edge. And I'm moving along at a nice steady pace. So the next tip we're going to do is called get a grip. And that's because most string trimmers have an adjustable handle just like this. Now I'm going to show you how to set that handle up just like the pros do so you can have the same precision control. So generally speaking, if you're a shorter operator, you're gonna move your handle forward. If you're a taller operator, you're gonna move it back towards the motor. Now I'm kind of in the middle, so my starting point is right around there. So now that we've got a ballpark for our handle, let's fine tune it. First off, you need a nice straight arm up front. That's the arm that holds the handle. In the back, you can have a bent arm and that arm sort of steers and controls the string trimmer. Now the next thing you want to feel is the ergonomics of the string trimmer. If it feels good, it feels like you can control it really well, you're almost set. Now the next thing you want to think about is the balance. You can see this string trimmer is balanced almost perfectly, a little front heavy, which is okay. That will change if you change the battery. This is the smallest Ego battery. If I go to a bigger battery, obviously it's going to put more weight back there and tilt the string trimmer. So to counterbalance that, what I do is I would move the handle back slightly. This is tip number five, lock and load. Step one, load string. Loading, loading, loading. Step two, center string. Step three, push button. Step four, get to work. So if I was to ask 100 people what they do not like about operating a string trimmer, I bet almost all of them would say loading string. In the past, this was a completely frustrating process. The good news is there's a bunch of brand new string trimmers that address this issue. This is my personal favorite right here. This is the Ego push button automatic load string trimmer. It's like, it's like magic. 
So now that we've talked about how to load string into this string trimmer, the next thing we want to discuss is how do you advance this line while you're using the string trimmer. And the good news is on these modern string trimmers, it's super easy. All you have to do is bump this head, tap this head on the ground, and that will release some string that will cut here on the blade to keep it at the perfect length for operating. All right, let's move on to tip number six, stay sharp. So you might notice the string on your trimmer is really ragged after you advance it during the operation. The problem that that creates is it means your string's gonna wear down faster than it should. So to remedy that problem, you can sharpen your cutting blade here. All right guys, it's time for tip number seven. And tip number seven is make sure you check out that video right there. It's awesome. Also make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. I'll see you over there.